So today I want to show you how easy it is to create sequences full of movement and variation with the slips sequencer from Aleph's Beats that just got an update recently and became even better. It's also available for free so all of you can experiment with it but if you like it and you can consider supporting the developer in the right click menu under info you can donate to the developer. So let's start by setting up a simple sequence. I have here two basal oscillators from Vult. I have also some modulation here. And for now I have it going to a delay, but the delay is all the way down. And I will use the pitch from slips. This will be the sequencer output. And of course it will go to the two oscillators. And the gates in this case will gate slap that I have here. Right now, first of all, what I can do is I can change the range of this pitch sequence, sequence range. I will go with zero to two, so I will get uh, all in all two octaves. Now I have here sequence generation or generate sequence. I hit it once. Right, and in this case, according to the steps here, we have a repetitive eight step sequence. This can go up to 64 steps. Right, for now let's stay with the eight steps. Now the first thing we can do, and this is exactly what this sequencer is all about, we can add random variation to the pitch with the slips function. Right, so first of all also here we can change the range. So slip range will be in this case zero to one, just so we don't get too many big jumps in pitch. Right, and then I can start adding probability for this random pitch to happen. Right, I will go to about, let's say, 30, 35. Right, and already you can hear the variation. Right, something like this. By the way, Slips has also a built-in quantizer. So there is root and scale. In this case, it's G minor pentatonic. It has also an additional quantizer you can use if you want your own notes. This is the slip spender here. Right, so already we get nice movement in the sequence and we can also add probability to the gates and add even more steps with this control here. Of course, everything has a CV input. So let's take this down to about 80%, I guess. Right, and then we get a bit more space in the sequence. Take it even lower, maybe to about 70. And now I can add the delay to fill in the gaps. I also have here a bass. I have the phrase sequencer from Impromptu. Sequencing the modern VCO again with some movement and the VCO as the sub bass. So in this case, I have a seven step sequence, sequencing kick all from Befaco. There is some chorus, some distortion, a filter. All of the patches are available for you to download. There's a link in the description. This is how it will sound like. Again, a seven step sequence. Right, so first of all, on slips, we have also a dedicated modulation sequence. In the right click menu, we can change its range as well. In this case, I have it set to 0 to 5, but again, you can set it to any custom value, minimum and maximum values. Right, so in this case, we can use this modulation, for example, to sequence the decay, to sequence the shape of kick all, and also to sequence the filter. Also here we have um, a sequence generator for the modulation sequence, so we can click it a few times and get something we like. Right, maybe this. Right, and now I can connect also the modulation sequence to the slips feature, right? In this case, the slips will only affect the pitch, but I can set it apply slips to modulation sequence. I can activate this. And now if I add slips, this will add also variation to the modulation sequence. Now, if I take the slips all the way up, 
we will get always random pitch and in this case also random modulation. Right, so we can do this, we can add this at certain points and again add movement and variation and always go back to the original seven step sequence. Right? and by that add movement. So in this case, I'm going to use another sequencer to sequence this to go from zero to 10. I'm going to use the ADDR sequencer and Slips has also an end of cycle output that will output a trigger whenever the sequence ends, in this case, the seven steps. So if I use this as the clock source for the ADDR sequencer, you can see for each cycle, we get a new step. In this case, we have five steps and step number five, is set to output 10 volts, so it will take the slips all the way up to 100 and will add variation. So let's have a listen to this. Right, so we get a few cycles of the original sequence and then some variation in pitch and in modulation. I have here also some drums, I have the gate sequencer sequencing uh, tremor 2 as a kick and hi-hats or just the kick actually and tremor as the snare drum because the hi-hats I'm sequencing with slips. So slips can be great also for percussive voices just like hi-hats adding variation with the slips feature and adding a bit more movement also to percussive voices. So this will be just the hi-hats, listen to the movement. It's a bit repetitive, I have slips here on 50%. It's a bit repetitive and a bit um, with movement. So you can use slips also to sequence percussive voices, not just melodic voices. This is how it will sound like with the other drums. Another interesting function slips has is the slip output basically according to the amount of slips each time a random value is generated a gate will open at this output now here i have a simple four step sequence sequencing the fm operator it will sound like this right very simple and repetitive now i will add some of the slips function here so again this will add random variation to the sequences let's go with about let's say 15 percent You can see this here. Every time there is variation in sequence, in this case, you can hear it also with the pitch. You can see on the scope that a gate will open. And again, this is a simple four step sequence. Now there are uh, many things we can do with this gate. I like sending the voice into a delay and then it will go to the delay only together with the variation. So what I have here, I have here Prince of Perception. It's set to 100% wet because we will already have, we already have the dry signal. So I will send a copy of the FM operator to a VCA which will go to Prince of Perception. Again, 100% wet because we already have the dry signal. Right, and I have here an envelope that will open this VCA and the gate that I will use to gate the envelope will come from the slip output. So again, only with the variation. Let's wait for it. Only when there is variation in pitch in this case, also in modulation, but with the pitch you can hear it better. The FM operator will also go to the delay. And this adds a lovely layer to the sound. Fun. 
Very nice. Now, there are other things we can do with this gate output. For example, we can switch between voices. Here I have another sequence, another uh, slips, right? And I have three different voices. I have kick all, I have dark energy from the geodesics, and I have pellet, which is a sort of a plets, a clone of a clone, let's say. Right, and I'm using a sequential switch to switch between them and there's a sort of a hocketing technique using the same sequence but switching between voices and the trigger for this switch is again coming from the slip. So only when there is some variation, in this case it's about 35%, only when there is variation in pitch and modulation in this case, the voices will switch. I'm using here a delay and a reverb. Let me show you another feature that can add lots of movement even to a simple sequence. Here I have a five step sequence with a pony VCO going through some delay, it will sound like this. Right, so first of all I can use the end of cycle to generate new modulation sequences over and over. Again, the end of cycle will output a trigger whenever the sequence ends, in this case after five steps. So if I take this trigger output and I connect this to the generate modulation sequence input, Every cycle we will get new modulation, in this case changing the timbre, changing the envelope. Right, I can also use a clock divider to have this happen after a few cycles. Here I have the one from the same collection. Right, so if I take this end of cycle and use it to clock the clock divider, I can use something like divided by three and then after uh, every three cycles we will get a new modulation sequence. Right now, even though I have just five steps in this case, just a five step sequence, still the whole 64 steps are filled with notes. So I can set a different starting point to get a new five step sequence with the start um, knob here, with the start function, right? I just change it. And now the sequence will start here, right, and we get a different sequence because again, all of the 64 steps are set with different notes. If you do this manually or with a MIDI controller, if you just use the knob, this will be quantized to a new cycle. So if I have a longer sequence, right, and I change the starting point, nothing will happen until the next cycle. Right, which is also great if you want to use this as a performative tool, but we can also use the CV input, right, and create also more movement like this. Right, so I'm going to use a clock division of five, again, from the end of cycle, so after five cycles, this will trigger the ADDR sequencer, which will then change the starting point for us and we get more movement and variation. Right, so even without the slips function, we get interesting sequences. I have here another example. Right, in this case, I'm using a random source. This is the simplex and hold, also from the same collection, which will generate more or less random values. So I'm using a random source to randomly move between the 64 steps with a three-step sequence, sequencing again, kick all from the FACO. Another thing I want to show you is how you can use the modulation sequence as a second pitch sequence and add variation through that. I have here again a seven step sequence sequencing the VCO going through the VCF. 
Right, and now in the right click menu, we can activate the quantization for the modulation sequence, quantize mode sequence. So if I activate this, the modulation sequence will go also through the built-in quantizer and will be quantized to uh, musical intervals and then we can use this with another voice I have here again another uh, VCO tune an octave down and another VCF so let's use this also as pitch information right so now we get two sequences And now to add variation to this, we can use, for example, again, the end of cycle output to add or to generate new modulation sequences, which is the second voice, right? So again, I will use the clock divider divided by four will go to the generation input here only for the modulation sequence. So the first sequence, the main sequence will not be affected, but every division of four, every four cycles, we will get a new second sequence Right now, by default, again, in the right-click menu, you can see Apply Step Probability to Mode Sequence. By default, it's off, which means that the probability here will affect, by default, only the main sequence. So we can change this and add more space to the main sequence. It will change less often, but still will combine really nicely with the second sequence. And again, we can combine this with the other things we've seen already, like using the sleep output. So in this case, again, I have Prince of Perception. I have here a VCA, just like we've seen before. I will use the high pass output from the first uh, voice, from the first sequence. This will go to the VCA. From there, it's, it goes to Prince of Perception. And I will use the sleep output to gate this envelope. So again, only together with the sleep, with the variation, this voice or the high pass version of it will go to the delay. Let's wait for it. Right, something like this. This adds another layer. This adds more movement. This adds more variation. Maybe also again, hi-hats, right? Noise going through a band pass filter. There is a reverb, there is a glitchy delay. Again, all of the patches are available for you to download. And also here I'm using slips to uh, trigger or to sequence this hi-hat voice. Right, so also here we get some variation. This is also great for percussive voices. And there are many more things that you can try with slips. Feel free to share with us anything interesting you do with it. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.